Hello, everyone. This is Monsef Afkar, and thank you so much for being here with us in this new call of Your Divine Uniqueness. Um, yeah, very happy to connect with you here, and uh, so glad that you joined us. So thank you so much for your presence and for your beautiful energies. And also very excited because Peter Schenk is is with us on the show today for the first time. Um, really love the the, the work he, he brings, the technology he, he created that um, really help, um, how to say, really help people to, to, to balance their energy and to, to access their full potential and be able to, to, to create the, the, the life and a life which is full of happiness, uh, uh, health and, and abundance. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited that he will be sharing with us about his really powerful technology. So um, the call today will be more about um, this quantum spirit technology um, for auric protection and amplified uh, manifestation. And um, before we start, for those of you who are new to Peter, I would love to share with you a little bit about him. So um, modern day mystic products were developed by Peter Schenk, a spiritual visionary who left a successful career as a computer programmer for one of the world's largest banks to fulfill his mission to heal the world. Based on this research at the forefront of quantum physics, Peter devised a way to use technology to bridge the gap between science and consciousness and modern day mystic um, was created. So, um, and also um, later during the, the, the second part of the call, we will have a QA and a like always. So um, because uh, today we are using uh, Zoom instead of the, the phone call. So um, if you will be on, on Zoom application, you can uh, just raise your hand there. So there is, um, how to say, you can just click on more uh, button and and then you will see um, how to raise your hand. And also if, for those of you who are listening or watching on the on the webcast page, there is a YouTube video embedded there. And also there is a question box there. And so you can type in your questions um, there as well. So um, yeah, so with that feature, welcome to the show. We're happy to have you with us. Concept, thank you, happy to be here. So. For those of you that don't know me, I work a lot with water. And at the beginning of a show or a workshop or whatever we're doing, I like to bless a glass of water. Water is the most programmable material in existence. And the highest form of acknowledgement you can give the energy is honoring the space of that. So energy that's in physical form or non-physical form will do absolutely anything for you as long as you acknowledge its existence. So that said, with a glass of water, I want you to raise your left hand over it about three inches and spread your fingers. In a second, you're going to start to feel the energy run down through your hand into the water. Your hand can be tingly. It can come off as a straight up bolt of lightning. It can be heat. You can just, you'll just feel it moving. Once you feel it moving, put your attention on the water and repeat these eight magical words. I honor the space in which you exist. And then in another second, that energy flow is going to increase again. So at this point, go ahead and drink as much as you want. Notice the taste and the texture. Mm, that was good. And then you'll notice where the energy is moving inside of your body. Um, texture sometimes can be oily. It can be smooth just as it's moving. Um, this is just a goodwill blessing to kind of set the precedence for the show to follow. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you so much for, for doing that. And uh, so, yeah, I think we can, um, like, you, you can use that uh, maybe in, in everyday life, like with water and also with food. It can really Absolutely. transfer this energy. Wonderful. And um, yeah, also in, in the beginning, I would love if you can tell us a little bit about your awakening story and how you, um, how you started creating a mystic, uh, modern day in mystic. Sure. So my experience happened just shy of 20 years ago. And <clears throat> at that time, I was about halfway through my tenure at a 20 year career, one of the world's largest investment banks. I was on the technology side of the house. And 
the, the moment of my wake up was instantaneous. Most people, some people take a lifetime to wake up. Some people take decades, some people take years. Prior to my wake up experience, I was very self-absorbed. My life was all about making money and keeping up with the Joneses next door, bigger houses, more cars, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I had no love of self. If you asked me what humility was, I probably would have laughed at you. The, uh, the whole energetic field, the new age, love and light crowd were about as foreign as aliens are, right? I had no idea about it, really didn't care. The only way to describe that pivotal moment in time prior and after, and again, my wake up experience happened at the speed of thought. It was that quick. Prior to that period, if you can imagine seeing the whole world in black and white through your eyes, the next second, everything was high definition color. So I was bestowed the gift of sight. It allowed me and allows me today to continue to see energy and everything. Nothing passes by without allowing me to see it, right? So for about six weeks, I thought, man, I had gone insane. I was seeing energy movement. I was watching past, present, and future happening all the time simultaneously. And the only thing that kept me going in those early years was the fact that I was becoming something better than what I had become, you know, come from. So I started seeking out like-minded people and the crowds of people I came upon were, were good people, energy workers and in the whole, the whole field, but they turned me off because all they did was offer lip service. They just talked. They didn't promote change in the world. I was woken up. I was given a gift for a reason. And that reason, very simply as it was 20 years ago, as it is today, is to spread more love and light in the world, to push the envelope of what's possible. My whole life, I had been groomed as an engineer in technology. Now I had this metaphysical mind that was growing exponentially, and I was being endowed with knowledge, ancient knowledge that has never seen the light of day for millennia. And the urge to help people was becoming overwhelming. So I started doing energy sessions with people. I could see the blockages in their body. I could very quickly remove it. And it, I was kind of like that 800 pound grill, right? I was still learning. I had back then, I still have today, this massive pipe back to source energy, right? <laughs> and, you know, so I was working on these people and they weren't coming back to me. And I was like, what's going on? Because I know the great work was being done. And what was happening was I was moving so much energy through them that I, their bodies were detoxing. Um, with flu-like symptoms within hours of, work, of me working on them. So needless to say, that probably wasn't the best business model or business practice. So with, you know, with gifts comes great discernment and responsibility. So the, the ego started at about three months. I thought I was the right hand avenging angel of God here to smite all evil in the world. And I had the tools to do it. And as my ego grew, the larger it grew, the bigger fall I was going to have. So after about six months after my wake up experience, my ego popped and I crashed and I burned. And that is where the real learning began. Only in the experience do you truly learn. So I, I made a decree to myself back then. I said, if I'm going to do this, I am going to carve a path through solid rock. I am going to bring the world products and services unlike anything they have ever seen before in their lifetime. So <clears throat> as I continued to grow and learn, my teachers were not in physical form. They were all in energetic form. And the great ascended master taught me to uh, the greatest son of master, St. Germain, taught me to see the invisible 
and do the impossible. And that is what I, you know, tried and true as what I bring to the world today and what I have been bringing to the world. And everything that I create mindset represents past, present, and future. Past being ancient knowledge, present being put, in the, put together in state-of-the-art technology, fabrication processes, metallurgy, in a futuristic design. So everything I create really represents past, present, and future in the now. So as my knowledge started to expand, I wanted to create something to help people in a way that they've never seen before. And the way the universe operates, okay, you are given a piece of information. What you do with that information determines if you move to a higher octave. So, you know, I made reference earlier that a lot of people are just about lip service. They, they have good hearts, but they don't promote true change in the world. I wanted to create something that would completely go oh, an entire paradigm shift on how people thought about something as simple as water. So I started watching videos of Dr. Emoto. I mean, he was a brilliant Japanese researcher that passed away in 2014. And he proved beyond the shadow of a doubt that water will restructure itself based on frequency. So what he would do is he would take control samples of water and he like to the first one, the first glass of water, he would have like a choir sing to it, beautiful vibration. And the next one he would be really negative to and, and down the line. And what they found was when they froze that water and they sliced it and they looked at it underneath a microscope, what they found was the water that had absolutely brilliance played to it, beautiful music, the, the crystalline structure was perfect. The one that had the negative energy put through it, it was all broken up. That got me to thinking, well, I'm, I'm a, I can program. I have access to the create quantum database. I can extrapolate an intention in anything. So I thought, well, if I could write a computer program that would allow a person to focus their attention on a glass of water, the software would then bring the intention to the glass of water. So in July, for 2007, AquaWare was born. AquaWare was a program that allowed you to instill the light frequencies of an intention into a body of water anywhere, anytime. The principles that govern the, the, the software were quantum. Space, time, and distance absolutely do not matter. Where you have the ability to put your attention, the intention would fall. So it wouldn't matter if you had a glass of water next to your computer, a case of water downstairs in the fridge, a body of water on the other side of the planet, or a cup of coffee on Mars. The only thing that was required of the user was to select the intention and then put your attention on the target water. So over the years, as the software developed and then later on became a suite of software, I was pushing more love and light into the world. And like I said, the way the universe plays a game, you know, you can blah, 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 offer lip service to whoever you want until you actually take that information and start promoting change in the world through spreading more vibration, love and light. You're not given more responsibility or better yet access to higher levels of brilliance, higher levels of ideas to bring it in. So as Aquaware came into fruition, so then I started looking at manifestation. How does manifesting work? Well, there's, you know, the, the ancient texts will tell us that you think of something that you want to bring into fruition in your head. You then let it go. The universe comes by, picks it up, brings it upstream in your reality and starts creating the energetic pathways to bring it into fruition. But what they don't tell you is that you have doubt or worry anywhere along the path. That's a time by which you release the thought and the universe is putting it together. It, it, it just gets destroyed. So in, 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 in theory, it's really easy, but in practical application, it's pretty hard and close to impossible. So that's why 99 point whatever of the people fail at manifesting things in their life because they have doubt or worry or anything else that's low vibe or in between. I created software that 
completely takes the Achilles heel that I just explained out of it. Um, the next program I released was the source. The source allows you to consciously direct the light frequencies of, wa of um, whatever your, um, the thing you want to bring into fruition into water. You drink the water, it then comes out of the body on light rays. The universe comes by and picks it up on the light rays, follows the same process, but here's the key. We've just taken the human out of the equation. So again, more levels of information. So, you know, as time progressed, there was more software that came out. And then I started doing workshops and then I started changing up the energetic sessions, right? Again, so 15 years after the first energetic session I did, I was given access to a whole nother level of information. And that information is what I call core sessions. We go inside, I have access to a person's consciousness, to their soul, the center of their being. We start to spin it, okay? As it spins, it creates a massive energetic field. As that energy starts to push out, there's carrier waves. And depending on the type of session, the carrier waves do different things. So again, we started pushing it. Now, when I left the bank in 2015, after I had already accomplished this stuff for the last 10, 15 years, <clears throat> I was given access to more brilliance, more information to start several lines of physical products, right? As the physical products started to roll out, there's, there's learning, there's higher vibrational learning that happens. And you're not quite sure what to do with that information on the flyer in the moment, but it makes sense as, as you roll a product out, you are given access to the next generation of technology just through the work that you're doing. So here's an example of how it works. Back in 2006, I started experimenting with gold. And the idea was to take 10 grams of gold and put it through an alchemical process and come back with 20 grams of gold. So, you know, from our science classes, we know that when energy is, ex uh, uh, when there's a chemical process happening, that's energy being given off. I wanted to harness that energy somehow. So uh, I, oh, it fell upon a process uh, of taking 10 grams of gold and dissolving it in an acid solution called aqua regia. It was one part nitric, three parts hydrochloric acid. You mix it up, you put the gold in there, you come back three hours later and it's gone. It has been dissolved into the solution. Then you use formic acid to um, neutralize the hydrochloric and then you use sodium borohydrate to bring it back. Okay, so when you add the formic acid, it creates this violent release of energy. And the idea was, was to use sacred geometry to punch a hole in what we call the zero point. Now, prior to these experiments, I didn't know what the zero point was. It was during the experiments that we learned that raging around us all the time is an infinite amount of realities. Some people call them universes. It doesn't matter, whatever you want to call them. And you can give something through the zero point and receive something back. So the idea was, was to push the energy expansion through to zero point and return gold. Now, the only thing that remains constant in all of these multiverses is the density of matter, the weight of matter. In order to give, you have to receive. In order to receive, you have to give. In life, everything is the in and the out breath, and it always comes into the equation somehow. Now, the experiments per se were never very successful, but the information of how zero point technology works was then kind of shelved in my head until the creation of the harmonic field amplifier line. So tonight we're gonna to be showing you two of these beautiful devices, which are all part of the HFA lineup. And the idea behind the first physical creation was to create something. I wanted to change something. I wanted to revolutionize something because that's just how I think. I think bigger, I go home. 
if the universe wants me to do it, it's going to be large. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be powerful. But most importantly, it's going to be very, very simple. So in the creation of my first physical device, I had like three simple rules. <clears throat> it absolutely had to be beautiful. It had to be powerful. And it had to have no electricity, no moving parts. It needed to use free energy, Mother Gaia, universal energy, prana, whatever you want to call it. And, <laughs> you know, so I was thinking, again, we're big. I'm going to make something out of gold and platinum. And I'm thinking, well, who the hell is going to spend $25,000 on something? So <clears throat> as you progress through the ideas of creation, the creation process, I, I'm, I, anything I create, the creation process is always the same. And that is the universe always gives me what I need, when I need it, how I need it, without question. And as you move through the process, anything that gets in your way, you see, as a creator, I never focus on how I'm going to get there. That's the path. That's just going to happen. I put all of my creativity, all of my energy in focus into what I want the final product to look like. And the final product is always being born in your head as you're pushing through it. So I settled on less noble metals, which was copper and silver. And that was destined to be the best metals. Why? Because copper has been used forever. Um, you know, we use it in pipes even today to kill bacteria. <clears throat> it attracts negativity. The silver is used in pretty much everything electronic. So the silver and the copper in combination, the copper would attract negativity and the silver would create and stabilize the field. So the first HFA product that came out with was a new way to travel. It was a beautiful device. You put it in your car. And the idea is that it takes all negativity in you and your vehicle and the immediately surrounding area, washes it, here's the key, through the zero point, which I learned you know, 14 years prior to that, um, or let's go nine years prior to that. And okay, so the HFA was born then because I had completed something, the universe gave me another level of information to create the HFA mini. And tonight we're going to be seeing version two. Then the HFA plus came. Then, um, <laughs> then Siri or then Orion came and I'll show you that later too. And then Sirius came. Okay. So as, as you're doing it and then, and then, you know, in the process of learning how the zero point worked, then I was given access to a whole nother generation, a whole nother product, which then became the Terra resonator line. There are products that utilize Moldavite and uncut rubies, and it would bring up, you know, earth energy and it would vibrate these, um, lab grown quartz crystal plates and anything you put on top of it, 33 seconds, it would be vibrating higher. <clears throat> because in the first generation of the Terra Resonator, I created four, I was given access to a whole nother level of information to create a second generation of Terra Resonators utilizing, you know, otherworldly materials, um, you know, Moldavite, Meteorite, <laughs> and for the first time, 3D laser engraved, um, you know, quartz crystal lab, quartz crystal. So, you know, as I completed that, then I was given access to another level of technology, the whole I am line. So I created a line of 13 beautiful I am bracelets <clears throat> that led to the creation of the I am pyramids, right? You go, so you're kind of seeing where this is going. When you are given that information and you act on it and you promote love and vibration in the world, the universe says, he's a star, she's a star, they're stars. And it just, you know, the ideas just start to explode. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's, that's really, really fascinating. Thank you so much for, for sharing about that. And, um, so f from from what I understood, because you mentioned, like, for example, um, for the manifestation process, because it's like 99% have difficulties um, of in, in manifesting what they want. So with your with your technology, so normally with the copper, it's it really neutralizes those worries and fears. And then the silver, it's it balances the energy. So maybe also using the, the patterns and symbols that you are using, it can 
like help to amplify the, the energy of that? So two different products, completely okay. doing different stuff. The okay. software was all about manifesting, taking the Achilles heel. Now the Terra Resonator line was designed to raise the vibration of anything you put on top. But a byproduct of the Terra Resonator line was manifestation. So again, you know, the digital media isn't for everybody. Some people like physical products. And the way people manifest on the Terra Resonator, and I didn't design it to be a manifestation machine, but when you want to command something into existence, you want to change your life. It's a choice. And it, you cannot, and I repeat this, you cannot be coy or shy about it. If you want to bring something into your life, you have to know from start to finish exactly what it's going to be. So the way I, I would teach people is, you know, you don't write it down on a piece of paper and make it wordy, you know, a white piece of paper with a pen or whatever. You know, I want to bring in the best relationship of my life. That's boring. You need to be bold. You need to be forward. You need to get a piece of ancient parchment paper. You need a black Sharpie and you need to command it. And you also have to speak in words that it has already come to pass. That's key. I am putting the whole universe commanding with I am on notice in the perfect relationship. Okay. And your goal is just to keep your mind on what you want. You know, fold it up nice and put it on there. You fold it out in some whacked out geometry. You're being bold. You're being different. And when you are bold, different, and you command in what you do, the universe takes notice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. We really love that. And um, also, I would love if you can maybe tell us how, how this, this works with um, like our energy field, how it helps us to to balance that and also how it helps us protect our uh, auric field because um, like especially during this time um, like th there is a lot of um, maybe confusion negativity around and we need to, to, to balance that so how, how this can can help us with that good question so <clears throat> each person has two different energy fields they have a physical energy field, then they have a light body energy field. And they're actually one and the same, but they're very different. So during the creation process of the harmonic field amplifier mini, the first generation, you know, it, it, it needed to be beautiful. It needed to be simple. It needed to be powerful. But I didn't know exactly what it needed to do. And until <clears throat> I started designing it in my head, then the endpoint came in and that was to completely protect every your your entire physical body's energetic field and your light body's energy field from all negativity and i said well okay you know in theory that's kind of cool but i needed something in practical application to show people how it's actually working for them so this is the, this is second generation technology. Okay. This is the harmonic field amplifier mini version two. It is much, much smaller than the original. Okay. So on the front, we have the infinity symbol. We also have silver that comes up over the edges and surrounds it. And on the back, you have a thumbprint. Okay, so this device is actually activated with your left thumb simply by putting your attention on it. I honor the space in which you exist. The idea is to wear it around your neck. Okay, now again, I was going back to how people can get proof positive, not only if you're feeling it, but you're seeing it. When these come out of the box, they are beautiful, they are shiny, they're almost like a mirror. People wear them around their house, okay? So on the moderndaymystic.com website, there's a lot of testimonials to how this product has worked for other people. I'm just giving you the basics. It's You wear it around your house, you feel good, okay? <clears throat> for two or three weeks, it looks that great. You go out to the grocery store for one hour, it turns black. 
Okay, so the, the way people can gauge how it's working and how it's protecting them from negativity is how fast it actually tarnishes. This wasn't my idea. It was just given to me and it's absolutely brilliant because you can see it working. Now, each product that I create has a conscious creation behind it. It has its own little personality. It'll work as advertised out of the box. But if you really, really want it to work overtime, you need to show it love. And the very act of cleaning it, okay, and you don't want to use harsh chemicals. This stuff, um, you can create, uh, you can clean your HFA mini great with um, pink Himalayan sea salt and lemon juice. You put it in there and in 30 seconds, all the tarnish is gone. Then you want to just use a nice jewelry cloth to kind of rub it a little bit and bring back that luster. When, when this is working, you feel it, okay? And some people that... Um, are claustrophobic, find themselves going in the elevators in small spaces, no problem. People <clears throat> that are typically can't be around crowds, empaths, perfect example, empaths, if you're not, if you're an empath and you're taking on other people's garbage all the time, it really debilitates you on what you can do in life. HFA many psh, shuts it all down, only lifts the high vibration stuff in. So people's garbage don't come in anymore. Now, because this one was successfully pushed into the world, <clears throat> I was given access to Orion, okay, the HFA Orion. And, you know, as you, as I learn, expand, and grow through the experience, you're, you know, the way ideas and brilliance and, and all that and everything I've created is always done with a really light heart and is, is done from a place of innocence. It's a childlike energy that flows through me because, you know, a, a child sees the world as magic up until maybe 10 months and then conditioning starts, right? We start teaching it. So, you know, when we're adults, the world's not magic anymore. It's stressful, like whatever. Um, these products are born from that childlike innocence, that magic. I don't see the world as I did 20 years ago. I see everything as magic now. And in the magic, <clears throat> when you have the ability, Monsef, to unlimit your thinking, you have the ability to unlimit your potential, okay? Again, in, in, in the creation of products, you never worry about, oh, I don't have this. Don't, you just put all of your heart and soul into the end product. What's it gonna look like? And the universe delivers everything else. So um, as I was learning and expanding during the, the, this particular product line, you know, um, I was still kind of hung up, and this is before the Terra Resonators, I was still kind of hung up, or maybe it was during it, on um, teaching people to manifest. So I wanted to, create something that would automatically manifest for people even before they knew what they wanted. All right. So that's when the harmonic field amplifier Orion was born. Okay. And this is a absolutely beautiful, brilliant piece of technology, spiritual technology that has Again, the copper inlay all the way around the sides. It comes up over the top on the back. And on the front, you'll notice a clockwise spiral. <clears throat> and on the back, you'll notice a counterclockwise spiral with a little hole that goes through it. And again, this is designed to help take something that you're not sure you want to manifest or how it's going to happen and do it for you automatically. And what it does is it pushes that through the zero point. Remember the zero point, something I learned with gold experiments back in 2006. It happens automatically. So once these are activated, you put them in your pocket and you carry them with you. And the little deja vus and the synchronicities through life just start to happen. They start to expand. They just start happening. And people have a lot of success in manifesting. Now, you'll, you'll notice behind me um, over here, You'll see three kind of crystal balls. Um, the two smaller ones are on the market. The bigger one will be here before Christmas. Those are called wishing spheres, right? They run, we run out of them all the time. And wishing spheres, again, to date, 
is another level of manifesting, right? So I wanted to create something that was cool, you know, like, um, like Zotar, you know, the, you put in your quarter, boom, you get your thing, you know, but I, it needed to represent past, present and future ancient knowledge put that together in state of the art metallurgy with a futuristic design. And the whole thing with the wishing spheres is you just activate it and you wish for others. I wish for blah, 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 to have blah, blah, blah. And that's the out breath. The karmic energy, because you're wishing for someone else that comes back in is the in breath, right? In and out. I can't, I can't receive unless I can give. I can't give unless I receive. That's the karmic wave that comes back around. So the Orion was the precursor to those. These just happens automatically. They're brilliant. They're beautiful. They're powerful. The copper attracts the negativity. The silver inlays creates and stabilizes the field. Your thoughts are pushed through the zero point and the fruition has come back at the speed of thought. Um, very successful product. Um, people have had a lot of good things. Now, this is something which I don't really talk about on shows, but these two particular products, people seem to lose them a lot. They just disappear. They just, they're there one minute and they're, they're gone the next. And they, they look around and they can't find them and they don't, ah, Peter, where did I go? Don't worry, it's gonna come back. This has happened dozens of times, over a hundred times with my customers, easily. They just disappear. They go to recharge their batteries, whatever, and they pop back up in a place that you look 10 times over. So if you do decide to purchase one of these or you own it uh, and it has disappeared, don't sweat it. It's going to come back to you every single time. <laughs> Interesting. Um, yeah, I really know that. And I have um, a, a question, um, like for for people who maybe like have some doubts about that, and do they need to believe that it will work for it to work, or like the the copper and silver, like the materials will help with that? That's a great question. Um, and it's a common question, and you know, it, whenever you make an investment in yourself first and foremost, whatever it is, it's an education, it's something you love. <clears throat> in life, you never pick a product. The product always picks you. So if you're, if, when you're looking at, you know, the HFA Mini or the HFA Orion, she will scream at you, okay? But you're not picking the product. The product always picks you. Okay, so that that's the, the kind of like the first pillar and the products work, you know, I've accrued well over a thousand written and video testimonials on my website to the effects of the products and the services I offer. Why? Because I get results. That's what I'm here to do. Okay, if you are looking for waterfalls, angels, um, candles, and kumbaya. <laughs> I'm not your guy. If you want products that defy logic and the stuff that science fiction books are written about, more importantly, you will get results, then you need to take a leap of faith based on uh, results that I have delivered for other people in combination with if you're drawn to the product. Because if you're drawn to the product, you're not picking it, it is picking you. Okay, it's now the time and the work, or uh, the time and the place for the great work to be done. And you're always drawn to it, but it's you being drawn to it, not the other way around. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Thank you for sharing that. And uh, yeah, everyone, you can find um, the, the, the two uh, HFAs, the HFAs version two, mini version two, and, and the Orion on the page yourdivineuniqueness.com forward slash Peter yourdivineuniqueness.com forward slash Peter, P-E-T-E-R. Or you can click on the special offer button, which is on the webcast page or um, on the replay page um, later when it becomes available there. And also everyone, if you have questions um, and you are on with us on Zoom, you can either type them on the chat 
or raise your hand. Um, you can find that by clicking on more uh, button and then you will find raise your hand if you want to talk to Peter. And if you are on the webcast page and watching on YouTube, there is um, a question box there. So you can also type your question there. Um, and yeah, Peter, we have a question from Liz. Uh, what is the best product for someone who has been through a lot of trauma and probably has holes in their auric field? Is the HFA mini strong enough or is there another better product uh, for, uh, for protection? The HFA mini. Okay. Because not only if you have perceived holes, which you may or may not, I don't know, um, it, it's irrelevant. You know, the, the, the world that I play in was a world of infinite possibilities. And when I learned that you can see the invisible and do the impossible and then have brought that together in a plethora of products and services, HFA Mini takes care of business, period, end of story. Wonderful. And uh, also what, what I saw from, from the description of HFA Mini, it's also it can help like people around you, not just you, like the energy balances also the energy of people around you. So the Mini is designed for you, okay? okay? In the initial thought process of the, in the initial creation process, the thought was that it would only affect you. What we have found is that when people wear these, people, maybe let's say at work, that typically are negative towards you in some way, all of a sudden are very pleasant. Um, it will affect the energetic field of people around you. I don't document that because I typically don't talk about it. Um, but you can read about it in testimonial, sure. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And I have a question about the Orion um, HFA. Um, like the, the shape of it, like were you, were you like inspired from maybe uh, the technology channeled from the Orion star system? So, and that's a great question. So let me, let me explain the creation process in a little bit more detail. Um, typically the name of the product is the first thing that comes to bear. And it's not like, <clears throat> you know, for me, the creation product, like, like I don't have conversations with, energy like I'm having with you. It doesn't work like that. <clears throat> it's very hard to explain. And you can only compare it to, have you had an experience in life, right? That you just, words are not there, but you learn something in the experience, right? And what you learned is more valuable than the experience as a whole. And that's what you take away from it. So the way that the way the creation process works is I am led through a series of whatever. <clears throat> it can be experiments. It can be a way of thinking. But in order to breathe brilliance in life and the power that these devices generate takes a lot of discernment and responsibility. So for instance, if I want to create um, so I, I, I have a, a, a product coming, which is a product that I've been wanting to create for three years. <clears throat> and the reason it's taken three years to finally create this particular product is because I had to learn through experiences of exactly what it was going to do. So only in the experience, you truly understand. And that's how you form and move forward. So we'll, we'll take like the Mer compass rose, right? which is a absolutely drop dead, um, almost a, a piece of art that uh, has six pieces, uh, three made out of bronze, three made out of copper. It's a device, it has a patina grown on it. So in the initial station, in the initial stages of creating that, like a rose popped up into my head. I'm like, what? You want me to be a botanist now? You want me to sell flowers? Come on, what are you showing me? So then a little bit later, um, 
compass popped up and I'm like, Rose compass. I'm like, what is that? Right. But they're leading me through. And then, and then the word myrrh popped up. So I had the three pieces of the name, but was it compass, rose, myrrh? Was it rose, compass, myrrh? You know, then it was like, then, and then, then it just aligns myrrh, compass, rose. I didn't know what myrrh was until I looked it up. And it was one of the three gifts that Jesus was given at his birth. So there was power just in the name, immense power. So the idea was to create the myrrh compass rose, which is a device that you put in your home and it removes all negativity from your land. It creates this massive energetic field. Anything that vibrates lower than the compass cannot exist within the sphere of energy that the compass create. So that is the creation process. You're led through it, you know, murder, blah, 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 whatever. Um, that's how, that's how I learned. Right. And, you know, I'm, I'm like in my head, I'm backlogged of ideas for the next five years. Um, but you, you know, you're human and you, you can only get one out at a time and it has to make the most um, <clears throat> impact in people's lives during the creation process. And, you know, I have to sleep, I have to eat, and I need a work-life balance. So I can't be, you know, where I go to get information all the time because <laughs> I would not want to come back. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That, that, that's wonderful. And yeah, what, what's it like in, in like the, the creation of, of your product, like the process you've been through? It's, there, there is, how to say, um, you don't try to, try to understand anything, like everything in the beginning in advance or, um, maybe control how how it will um, unfold. So there is you have this intention, very strong intention, very powerful, and then you allow this inspiration and um, the information to come uh, through you. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you know, just because you 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 get a, a brilliant idea doesn't mean it's going to be a viable product. You know, I have an idea to create a chair that'll allow people to direct their consciousness anywhere in space and time. Okay, well, I can build it, but who the hell is gonna buy it because it's gonna be very expensive, right? right? So a brilliant idea doesn't always mean it's a viable product. You have to create products that are feasible. Um, and, and, and I didn't know any of this five years ago when I started creating physical products, I had no idea. Um, in, in, interesting that brings up a point the first the hfa a new way to travel from the first time i had the idea to create it to it became a product in uh the modern day mystic.com store was nine months to the day that's a birthing cycle so in the creation process with the universe there's all these little hidden easter eggs if you will that just you 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 know you put the strings together and 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 you know, it doesn't matter what you do in life. If it, even in manifesting, right? We always say, oh, the human imagination is the most powerful force in the universe. Yeah, no, no, it's not. The universe is, right? So, you know, like when you want to manifest something, so I use this, a red Ferrari, for example. I want a red Ferrari. Well, it's just not going to pop up in your driveway tomorrow because it doesn't make sense. But what does make sense is you'll get a check in the mail tomorrow from some long lost relative that left you the exact amount to go buy that red Ferrari. See, that's brilliance. And when you manifest, the universe always delivers it in a way that is more amazing than what your human imagination can conjure up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, let's see, we have a qu another question. Um, Healers would still find entities in my husband uh, husband's field, even when he was wearing the, the first generation of HFA mini. Do you think he needs the extra strength of the second generation? I would say, yeah, because again, because the, the first generation was created and put into the world and spread more love and vibration, I was given another instruction set on how to create something that was much smaller, but infinitely more powerful in what it delivered and how it delivered it. So, you know, bigger we say is better, but this is smaller, but it's more powerful. So <laughs> again, the logic gets reversed. Yeah. 
Wonderful. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I have a question because uh, uh, yeah, this she said, thank you. And uh, you mentioned that those products, you need to activate them with your interaction with your left uh, hand. So normally when you activate them, you should not uh, share them with other people. Is it just, uh, should it be just used uh, by you? Great question. So once a MDM product is activated, it is bonded to you, okay? Which means you become the surrogate mother to the conscious creation behind the physical device, the energy. You also have the ability to deactivate it by, in, in, in the case of these two products, you hold it in your right hand and you say the same words and at that point it's been deactivated, right? Um, Typically, once they're bonded to you through the activation process, they're not going to want to be shared with anybody. And, and again, those are just words. Once you start using these devices, in your experience, you will understand why you don't want to share them with somebody. And it, you'll, you don't understand it until you're, you're knee deep in it, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Wonderful. Thank you so much for that. And um, yeah, also I, I have another question about um, like the intentions, having the intentions uh, of creating something. Um, when we, we use those products, do we need do we need exactly to know um, what we want to exactly to, to to create, or maybe because sometimes we have we have some some feelings or energy about creating something, but we still are not really clear about that. So how, how they can help us? Trust. trust in the process, always. Okay. Okay. But, you know, if you don't know what you want, <laughs> the universe doesn't know what you want. So, I mean, ground zero, level one, grade school, know what you want. Because mm -hmm. in the knowingness is where, you know, the, the, the creation is driven from a childlike energy it's pure love it's pushed that's where it, it is and if you don't know what you want well you know we're not going to give um you know a monkey the nuclear codes to launch you know world war whatever you don't know what you want be assertive command into being what you want don't be coy don't be shy know what you want and in the knowingness then brilliance is delivered mm -hmm. wonderful and what, what will be your, your advice maybe for someone who maybe he's been through maybe a lot of maybe challenging experiences he's been in some confusion and maybe overwhelmed and want to start his journey like but still don't have this clarity about what they want what will be their their first step well, uh, they want change. I mean, you just said it yourself, right? I choose not to be disrupted from, you know, night terrors. I, I sleep with the light on. Okay. You feel safe, right? You wear an HFA mini to bed and that light's just going to go off. You're not going to feel those night terrors, right? It completely, anything, any negativity on your energetic field, it, it completely is absorbed into the mini. So if you have night terrors, if you have bad dreams, you'll wake up in the morning and that thing's going to be really dark and you'll see it. I mean, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And also because uh, I heard that um, uh, that's our body's energy. Uh, it depends on, on the person. It can, it can be positive or negative, but it's not negative in the meaning that it's that it's just uh, polarization. And does this affect like the use of the HFA mini or, or the Orion? I don't think in terms of that, that mm -hmm. stuff to me doesn't make sense. Okay. A couple of things to know about me. I don't read anything out there in my field. I don't know what Joe John Doe is doing. I have no idea. I don't care. My focus and all of my energy goes into product creation and services that work. Where I get my information from is pure. It's unadulterated, right? And those are the streams. So <clears throat> ah, I just lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. What was your question again? <laughs> I said like, uh, there are people who say that's the energy of our bodies. It's, it's oh, right, right, right. So negative and positive. Yeah. I don't think like that. 
everything I create is done from a place of pure love, right? It's simple, it's powerful, it's beautiful. It's easy to use. And when you think like that, okay, as that child sees the world as magic, the conditioning that we all learn about negative and positive, blah, blah, whatever, it's irrelevant. It doesn't exist. It cannot exist. It just works. That's it. I don't care how a microwave works. I could care less. I care that it warms up what I, not that I use it, but you know, what I warms up, what I put in there. That's it. Mm -hmm. Don't think too deep. Trust in the process. When you mm -hmm. work with energetic products, you can, so I, I had my own show for like five years and I interviewed a lot of beautiful people. And a lot of them sent me gifts, right? And there was one particular one that I was very excited to get. I knew it was powerful. It came wrapped, it was shoved into a UPS envelope, wrapped in pink toilet paper, with crumpled up instructions. This was a thousand dollar product. And I was just like, 90% of the, what that product could have done for me evaporated in the opening process. So I have an eye for detail, not only in product design, but in packaging, right? Packaging is paramount. You need to be excited. When you get something from MDM, it's beautifully packaged, right? It just looks amazing. And then that in turn, <clears throat> helps create more energy on how the device is going to work for you. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you. And we have a question um, about Sirius, how the, the, the product uh, of Sirius works. So Sirius was the counterpart to Orion that came out at the beginning of 2020. And Sirius is a product that challenges you to be better tomorrow than you are today by utilizing mantras and represented by one of the eight gemstones that are on Sirius. Um, all the info on that is on the moderndaymystic.com website. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Um, so yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Peter, for all this really inspiring information and uh, uh, telling us about your, 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 your products, whether software or or, uh, or hardware, and also especially about the, the Orion and HFA uh, mini version too. Um, so do you have maybe any, any final message to our audience before we end the call? You know, look, it, it, it's time for you to step up your A game. Um, my track record is proven and solid. If the product, if, if you feel like you're drawn to one or the other or both, then you don't go wrong. You just can't go wrong because you're not picking the product. The product is picking you. <clears throat> you know, it, it's time to elevate. It's time to expand. It's time to evolve. And, you know, all the products that I create help people move from a life stuck in fear into a loving world. I mean, it's really that simple. And it's just up to you to make that choice. Wonderful. Thank you again, Peter. Really grateful to you. And uh, thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Uh, again, highly recommend um, taking advantage of one of the, the products that Peter is offering uh, on the show. And you can find both the um, HFA uh, Mini uh, version 2 and HFA Orion. And you will find them on the page yourdivineuniqueness.com forward slash Peter, yourdivineuniqueness.com forward slash Peter, P E. T E R, or you can click on the special offer button, which is on the webcast page or on the replay page um, later when when it goes live there. And um, yeah, so also you will find the two payments plans there for for the two two products. So yeah, again, everyone, thank you so much for being here. Uh, thank you for your presence, for your beautiful energy, and uh, I'm sending you so much love. And then we see you on the next call. Bye bye, everyone. Thanks, everyone.